don't know if that's trash. What do you think? Yeah, it's got to be. We're looking at something. I don't know. I know it's trash. I mean, I know it is, but I just fucking... Good Lord, I wouldn't be able to fucking handle my brain. I so much like, I don't fucking you know what? <laughs> that was trash. You know we're getting old. We can always circle around and grab it. No, you know what? When, no, what when the realistics of it is right now, what that was, it was a vintage tiller. It had a nice little motor on it. Uh, Probably didn't work anymore, but it's still a vintage piece. It could have worked, yeah. no problem, but it could also leak. Number one, I just don't have the fucking space anymore for it. The game has changed, like I told you. But for the other guy, a junker, scrapper, that's a fucking score. I mean, that's that 10, 15, score. 20 bucks. Easily, all day long. But now, you know, i got to think realistically. What can I do with that thing? Basically, i got to pick it up. Probably hurt my back. Went, <laughs> throw it in the back of the car. It'll probably leak oil over my beautiful transit. Pickers that don't Went. pick. Yeah. <laughs> That's what we're doing. See, the game has changed. Pickers that don't pick. Yeah. Pickers that refuse to pick. See now, right here, we got another little score. We've got a little ladder. Oh. And, free. Well, this is this is clear. So let's get out here, and take a look. This All is right. free. We're in the clear. So what are we gonna get here? How much you want for what shovel? What can we realistically use? I can use this shovel. I mean, this uh, sh this is a shovel. Eh? This is an old ladder. It's not broken. No. Nope. I can use this at the flea market to display my clothing items on or whatever, but this is easily at the flea market, five, ten bucks. And if not, I can actually use it. It's not broken, so that's going. Show the free sign. This is what we're talking about. Now, we have a this little break in it. This takes the guesswork out of it. Uh, we got a little break in it, but nothing bad. Just this little panel. Where you hold the paint, that's not a big deal. You say, Mike, that's not an antique. That's not a treasure. No, but it's a few bucks here and there. Flea market. This thing I can use, actually, at the house. It's got a good handle on it. It's a tiller, and I could even sell this at the flea market and get a couple bucks. This shovel, this is an old one. Yep. We call that a pooper scooper. But you know what? At the flea market, I can get anywhere from two to five bucks for that. And that's, that's the real deal. Now, you probably should be grabbing these things, but I'm trying to shoot. We've left a lot of things already. We're talking about a tiller. This can is probably even free, but we're going to leave the can. We're going to leave everything else for the next guy. Yep. So there we go. Yep, and they got rid of some of their junk. Got rid of some of their junk. I scored a nice ladder, which I can always use. Some kind of garden tiller and a vintage shovel. So here we go, we pull into this alley, and we're behind a trash truck, which means, obviously, the wrong back up. Direction. Yep. We're going to go down this one right here, we're going to head west. I see but a pile of shit. So they haven't come to this one yet. But we got a fucking truck blocking the way down the other end now. That's definitely just construction there. Yeah, yeah. probably over a ton of nails. And, and this alley is blocked. So you get to try your your driving skills with backing up. Oh, this guy's gonna make a move. I, I can't drive over that fucking toilet thing anyway. I'm just gonna fucking back the fuck out of here. <laughs> Cocksucker. <laughs> Fucking speeding. <laughs> Leave that in. And this one too. You can't be patient enough for me to fuck the turn. Ah. <laughs> Fucking A. These idiots. Did you see him drive by? I didn't yep. even fucking acknowledge. I'm not even alive. Oh, this is my urinal. You got one of these tubs? That was, they have a, they have a sit, the sit over here, yeah. I'm just There's disappointed some... that you didn't get on that skateboard today. That would have been rad.
I killed myself. You could have totally rolled down that fucking thing. You know what would have happened? I would have got down as soon as I would have hit the, the bottom of the platform. <laughs> it would have came out from under me. I would have hit my head, I just ruined my hat, it. splattered my head open. <laughs> I thought yeah. for sure you could do it, though. No, I, seriously, I haven't been on one of those things for... Well, this for a it, lifetime. I wish I had the the uh, the image of well, I have it here of you yep. skating back in the day. And it was would, always just just we had the T-shirt, like the leather pants, <laughs> Doc Martens on, yep, uh, hip hip sack, big hair, and just brutally. <laughs> and you were really stiff. It was great. So anyway, today, yeah. didn't find shit, but we got to Nothing. hang out as friends. That's not a total loss. <sighs> I haven't seen him for a while, but and, and you know, that's we, how it goes. We knew that going in. You and know, now he's got a ladder to get up on the roof to get a branch off and a, <laughs> and and a shovel. How much for a shovel? It's worthless. Yeah. Probably two bucks. Uh, but we yeah. knew that going in that we weren't going to get anything, but we just, uh, you know, it's really just an excuse to film and to hang out together. And, uh, you know, and like I said, uh, it, it's just putting in the time because you can find the stuff. If you go out every day or even just go out when you can, it, it, it's good for the for the spirit and the soul just to get out. And if you have a friend you can go with, that's even better. But just getting out and hunting is fun. you got to have that hunting mentality. And we Except it wasn't shit. as much fun as it was five years ago when we do this because now we're like, is that trash? Is there people around? Yeah. We weren't even like that before. We just hop out and start filming. Now we're right. all paranoid. Totally. Yeah, the world has made us paranoid in the last few years. Yeah, it's crazy so, yeah. out there. I mean, with everyone in social media filming, so now you're sitting there, unless it has a free sign on it, I'm just not even interested. Or sticking out of the dumpster, actually. Just yeah, like, that would I would do. If it's in the dumpster. But I've even, I remember days in the back where people would still, they would store their wheelbarrow on top of the dumpster. So you got to be careful with that too, because sometimes it's actually, if it's a construction site, they keep the fucking wheelbarrow on top of the dumpster during the night. And so you're not supposed to take that. But I think I did back in the day a few times. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look for some shit. As we, we we're going to start freestyling, do another video. We're on to number two now. And this one will just be some relics, show and tell. Us bullshitting, if talking. I can, if I can find this fucking thing. Petrified shit is what he's looking for right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what'd you find? This is it, Oh, Mickey Mouse. I've got Mr. There we go. What does it say on the box? Shit. Ron's bar. So, there's a great story behind this. I cleaned out Ron's bar on Rice Street in St. Paul, an old bar. And this is the story. I <laughs> wrote it on the box. Okay. Uh, shit story told to me is this is human shit it hung on the wall of ron's bar on rice street in st paul minnesota alongside antiques junk etc he had a couple of customers that worked for the city down in the sewers and supposedly they can heat where the shit goes and they heated it up the ovens went on or something so it turned the shit to stone <laughs> And then he brought it into the bar. And he gave you some shit. And it hung on the bar. Yep. And when I pulled it down from the bar, I said to the bar owner, what the hell is this? He goes, it's shit. <laughs> and I was like, well, what do you mean? What is it? He was like, shit. Was it his shit? Well, it's human shit. That's a big shit. Well, it was on the wall of like a sewer. But look. I mean, it's literally, it's like lead. Oh, I got to touch that. Yeah, <laughs> do you though? I was thinking about this last That's night. That's a big was, shit, dude. This is old. This thing is probably, hopefully, all the foulness is out of it. There's got to be some serious bacteria here. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this is literal shit. So it was because the oven was turned on. It was baked, and it became like this, where it literally, I mean, it's like glass or stone. There's probably some corn in that. And that hung on the wall there, and I don't know why I have it, but I do. Look, I've actually got two pieces of shit. You could make stew out of that one. It's almost like a... You just boil it in a crock pot for like three days. Listen to this. Oh, there's it's like glass. There's powder coming off it. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah. What do you do, man? Exactly. I do shit. <laughs> I'm just snorting some shit, man. But, so yeah, you just see my follow the fall of my collection. I guess when someone would say, what's your most worthless item? 
Yeah. Well, I've always said, too, that you seem to pick a lot of shit, too. Yeah, you so, yeah. Shit. So, I've yeah. always made the mistake and picked a lot of shit. So, here's the cabin. Now, we talk about a hoarding situation. Oh, yeah. we got to get the cabin. I've been in the cabin before. It's been a while. There were a bunch of bicycles, real, some cool old ones in yeah, there. Yeah, remember I had lawnmowers. It's been a lot of different transits. I'm capturing the, ca the cabin. Yeah, it's not a cabin. We just call it the cabin. Come on in and see if you can even make yourself around in here. I'll try to make a little room in here. This at some time. There's a tree. A tree dead center of the cabin. And how odd to build it around this now. Does that ever leak? Oh, yeah. Of course, oh, huh? yeah. It's the worst job ever. I mean, this is just no different than a kid building a fort. I mean, that's literally all this is. This entire thing is just built from reclaimed old wood, every scrap, every piece. There's a lot, much more in the relic department since the first time I was in here, that's for sure. Yeah, it's mostly everything out here is like farm, metal. Something that can handle the elements with the humidity and oh look perfect look what we got I just set this this is what happens when you mess with my junk I don't play I don't like rodents hey now some good eating on that one I'm stoked See, and I just set that trap right there. What, you got some peanut butter on there? Mm-hmm. Old peanut butter. So here comes the fun part, Todd. All right. Where, where is it? Where's the fun part? You're going to bury it? Oh, yeah. What else am I going to do for there? Where is he? Right there. Belly up. There he is. Say, why are you? Why don't you just throw it in the garbage? I don't fucking Smells. know. You gonna make a put a little stick up there for him? Nope, no stick. Memory or no respect. Unmarked grave for the rodent. Whoops. Live by the sword, die by the sword. This fucker's a big boy. He's been grubbing. He's got a long snoot on him. Look at that. That's an old boy. <laughs> that punk out. Should have threw him in the pool, see what the kids did. <laughs> the kids don't feel well. Hey, look, it's a, it's a Snickers. <laughs> yeah. So that's what we got. We got that cabin full of junk back there. And this is a piece that I bought. Look at this. Because I talked about the hoard in my videos. I've mentioned this before. Oh. Bought a hoarding tent. Yep, so that I could kind of stretch my hoard out just a little bit. You say, well, why do you do that? Because it gives me a little bit of access to it. I got an old cycle in there. So basically, it's just a copy of the bunker downstairs. A lot of these tubs, but I needed to do this to free up some room. Well, what'd you pay for your tent? I think I paid 300. 300 plus, and it was a fucking nightmare to put it together. It was a fucking nightmare. I, said, I put it together by myself. It runs on just these, these uh, framework fiberglass tubes. Okay. But it you, looks pretty durable, though. Unless yeah, we get another, another 70 uh, mile per hour storm like we had a few days ago, it took the branches down it was like a week ago. Yeah, it survived that. So that was a, an amazing feat. Yeah, look at this tree here. All right, let's wrap this baby up. Short day, right? Yeah. Uh, didn't find anything. Found an old, sh what did we find, a shovel? Found, found a bunch of stuff that we were afraid to actually <laughs> grab. Yeah. That, what would you have really done with it anyway? Exactly. And that was really $20 that. dollars worth of flea market stuff that you would have been looking for a place to, to store. No, nothing really high end. Or, now, let's say that that, that that tiller was a, a pedal car, an antique one. Well, I would have known for a fact that it wasn't a new toy, and I would have got out and I would have gotten it, found it. But the tiller. Some oil in your transit. 
and that's usually how it goes. You put an old machine like that, not always, sometimes it's a beautiful old machine that's been sitting dry in a garage, and that's what that looks like. It looks pretty clean, to be honest with you, probably should have taken it, but hey, did you just see what I showed you? The horde, it's a nightmare. <laughs> You've got to, at some point, have some kind of discipline. We can sit there and blame it on laziness or we're scared or whatever the hell it is to do. It really isn't that. It all comes down to need and your position and where you're at in life. You know, 10 years ago, that tiller's going in the van, and uh, I'm getting 10, 15, 20 bucks for it. And if it fires up, I'm getting 25. And that's a little pop for you. I don't know, you know, it, we could have made our day if, if, if times were different. So all we're showing you is get out there by yourself with your friend and, and just keep hustling and it'll eventually come to it because really that's all this is, is a hustle. It's no different than shining shoes or, uh, you know, an old bike when you were a kid fixing it up and selling it, right? I mean... Yeah, and today, like I said, we didn't get anything out of it, but we got our friendship. We got to hang out, we got to talk, and that's what makes life worthwhile. Yeah, these are moments. I mean, so, yeah. they're priceless. This moment here is in the moment, It's, and we're both above ground still. I mean, I'm 48 going on 49 in August. Todd, how old are you? 51. 51. You know, I met Todd, I guess I was probably, like I said, we'd figure 27 years ago, so Jesus Christ, I'm not going to even try to uh, do subtraction right now, but it was, I Almost was young. Almost half a lifetime ago. Yeah, the and, now. And, and you know, it's just, you wish you could be like this forever. And so, we still have the same minds, but we're much wiser. I'll say that. That's yeah. kind of what happens as you get older. Your body depletes. Same likes. Falls apart. Same interests, same minds, but so much more wiser. You, yeah, that's the thing. And, you know, that's what sucks about life is because as you get older and the smarter you get, of course, your body is rotting away on you. So it's a mother effort. It's a hard uh, edge to walk. Heaven and hell. I always like comparing it to that Black Sabbath song. I feel life is heaven and hell. It is here on earth. You know, religion, uh, I'm not a religious person, but I, I get it. And I honestly believe, like, the Bible, uh, people believe it's real and that stuff happened. I believe it's just kind of, this is it. Right? We're literally living it. And you walk that blade every day. And you have your choice, you know, what are you going to choose? Uh, whatever. Are we preaching? Hell yeah, because that's what happens when you get old. You preach. Yep. <laughs> you well, let's wrap this up so we don't keep people bored. Or, yeah. And that's what we bored. love to do is bored you. We like uh, to bore people. We're just sitting here. But now. that's what happens when Sun you're old. Beating down. We could literally probably sit here all day if we were, if we had that freedom. I bet you we could. I bet you we could bullshit all day. You know, in the old days we probably drink and beer there might all even day. Be a market for that too. Some of these stories that, that people didn't get to hear that we were talking in the van. Oh, my oh God. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. I mean, just literally, if you could turn this camera Excuse. on and put a case of beer, would kill it <laughs> would kill us both, though. Yeah. That's why we can't do it, yep. and we won't. We'd both get in trouble for something, unfortunately. we probably just so, drop yeah. dead, to be honest with you, <laughs> yeah. at some point. in the. But I tell you, that would be a show. People have it. lost their humor in the last 10, 10 years or so. Oh, yeah. Everything is, is not Too funny serious. anymore. Yeah. So it's a serious it world. It sucks, and I get it. You know, people are sensitive. I can respect that. I, I, I get it. I really do. Uh, that's why I'm able to discipline myself even. But it does suck because sometimes just it is just a simple joke. It is what it is, you know. And laughter is shit. That's the awesome thing in life, right? That and being above ground. Fuck yeah. So live your life. Get out there. Enjoy it. If you're young, Have fun. don't take it for granted. And that's hard to Quality take. Quality of life. That's As you get older, that becomes the most important thing. Yeah, it's the simple so. things. It is. These are all just like lines almost that we all hear as we, as we are here on earth. You know, it's the simple things. It's all about home. But the reality is, is you chase a lot when you're young and you really don't need to. But I do not want to dissuade you from going out and chasing your dreams. Get out there and learn and live. That's the only way to do it. Hey now! All right, we're out. We're out.